This is one of the most famous paintings in the world. And this is the person that made it. Another famous painting. And another famous artist. Do you know this painting though? Or the artist? It's not surprising if you don't. Women artists have suffered a long tradition of underrepresentation in art history and continue to do so even today. Which is why in Art Spark Season 2, we introduce you to 8 women artists from India. Those who challenge norms, question existing systems and write new narratives through their incredible careers. Basically, 8 pretty badass women. Welcome to Women That Changed the Art World. Here's a quick game for you. What kind of an artwork do you think this is? Here are your options and you have only 5 seconds. Let's go! And time's up. What did you pick? This is an example of installation art. It does look a lot like a sculpture but it is made up of multiple other parts. So installation is a bit like sculpture's complicated cousin. It might take up a whole room, might have some video or sound, maybe even natural elements. But all these multiple elements have a relationship to each other. Just like the monster web displayed on the outer wall of this building, which in fact is a museum in Mumbai. When you look closely, you see that the web is actually made up of many many wooden stamps. Individually the stamps, the web made using them or even the museum wall are just what they are. But together they create something with a whole new meaning. The person who made this is the artist in focus for this episode and her name is Reena Saini Kalat. Kalat is a Mumbai based artist whose family was forced to migrate from Pakistan to India during 1947. This memory stayed with Kalat and when she became an artist, she decided to make art about migration, border conflicts and the loss of one's identity. She began to use the rubber stamp as a metaphor in her works and it became a symbol of the oppressive bureaucratic system. Kalat creates a lot of fun things using stamps. One time, she made these amazing series of portraits. When seen from a distance, you see faces. The kinds you might see on the streets or maybe in your neighborhood. But up close, you see they are stamps with names of people registered as missing in official records. Kalat is preoccupied with this big idea of identity and investigates it through different mediums and lenses. While this work asks questions about the loss of identity of people, this one makes us think of the identity of a place. On each stamp that makes up this web are old names of Mumbai streets and localities, those that were in use before India gained independence in 1947. So, Kalat wants us to think of the connections between one's history and one's name. She chose this particular museum because it too has a history of changing identities and changing names, interlinked with the colonial history of India. It is today called the Bhau Daji Lard Museum. It was founded in 1855 and was originally called the Victorian Albert Museum after the then King and Queen of Britain as well as India. In 1975, the Indian government renamed it to the Bhau Daji Lard Museum to commemorate the antiquarian and educationist by the same name, who helped fund the museum building. So Kalat is making us think of the act of a name change, of the power that it holds in erasing or altering the story of a place. Reena Kalat also experiments with sound. Her installation chorus is modelled on listening devices used during the Second World War to pick up sounds of enemy aircrafts. Only in Kalat's devices, instead of hearing the buzz of aircrafts, one hears bird songs. 
She very carefully picks national birds of neighboring countries like the peacock from India and the chukar from Pakistan that sing in unison. What is the message of this work you think? Is Kala trying to talk about the futility of man-made borders or encouraging us to see commonalities across them? Rina Kalat continues to make installations using nature as metaphor and her favorite stamps. She experiments with a variety of other mediums too, all the while bringing our attention to things that are wrong with the world, those that we may sometimes miss or even refuse to see. And by doing so, she prompts us to question the system, think about the big problems and maybe even look for solutions. Look up Rina Kalat online to see what other awesome installations she has created over the years and while you're at it follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel to get regular updates on other artsparks videos thank you for watching and see you in the next one